a very slight scratchy throat, but nothing else apart from that. Ultimately, science will provide the answer. But right now, it's still trying to catch up with this novel virus. Here at this private cancer clinic, staff are being screened to see if they've produced antibodies to COVID-19. A small localized initiative, but one that could have far-reaching and significant consequences. Professor Sikora is using Sugentech kits from South Korea. They're also widely used in Germany, two countries with effective proven testing regimes. How reliable they are is what we want to know. So we're doing an exercise today where we're taking blood from everybody and comparing this kit with formal blood samples done in a much more precise and obviously more expensive assay in the laboratory. You can see a line appearing. 15 minutes later, and we have the results. So this test is telling me I haven't built up an immune response to COVID-19, which probably means I've never been infected. The 10 pound kits need further validating. So the samples are dispatched to a laboratory in London. Here they're screened again using industry standard immunology analyzers. Governments across the world are racing to find a proven antibody test. It would map the true spread of the virus and essentially allow people with a virus immunity to return to society. But it's proving difficult. Everything in medicine takes time. It's not something that you can do just by waving a wand. So it needs proper verification, it needs trials. Professor Sikora is looking for consistency for the self-testing kits to match the expensive lab-based tests. There's a breakthrough. We have a positive result here as well. This is the second one we've... That's fantastic. Two staff members have tested positive. Not only are they positive in this complex laboratory-based assay, which is very precise, they're also positive on the China kits and on the Korean kits. They're immune and hopefully they're completely healthy and can work normally from now on. Professor Sikora is sharing his results with the government. There are, of course, still many unanswered questions, but it is a small, hopeful step forward one that might show us a way out of this pandemic. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.